When working with whole numbers, one of the things we do is we talk about divides. And you've watched several videos, hopefully, on properties and or theorems dealing with divides and how it is used. In a practical sense, it's something that we must understand in order to accomplish some very basic arithmetic. Let me explain. Let me start with a very basic problem. 1,728. The question is, I wonder what 9 divided into 1,728 might be. Well, one way to accomplish this is we can look at this question. 9 divides 1,728. And I'm going to do this by looking at this number right here. And I'm going to take 1,000. 728, and I'm going to begin to see if I can write it in ways that are related to things I know about 9. Well, just off the top of my head, I know several things about 9. One of them is that 9 times 100 is 900. So I know 1,728 is 900 plus 828. Well, that's pretty good. Let's see what else I might know about 9. Well, I know 9 times 5 is 45. And I'm going to use that to claim that I know that 450 must be a multiple of 9 because 450 is a multiple of 45. So I'm going to subtract 450 from the 828. I'm going to step off to the side. You'll get to watch me do a little arithmetic. Let's see how we do. Let's see. I have 400. Whoops, I'm going to need some of that. So I'm going to have a 10 there. 5 from 10 is 5, and 2 is 7. And then I have an 8, or 378. So now I know this is a multiple of 9. I know that this piece right here is a multiple of 9. The question is this third piece. Well, I know that 9 times 4 is 36. So if 9 times 4 is 36, then I know 360, which is less than 378, is a multiple of 9. I'm going to bring my 450 down bring my 900 down for the next line. So now, how much stuff is left over? If I'm not mistaken, that's 18. So this means that since 9 divides 900, 9 divides 450, 9 divides 360, and 9 divides 18, 9 must divide the sum of all of these pieces namely 1,728. Now, the really kind of, to me, the neat part of this is what I can do with this. Well, how many nines are in 900? There are 100 of them. And we said that 9 divided into 45 five times, and this is 10 more than that, so this is 50. We know that 9 divides into 36 four times, and this is 10 times that, so that's 40. And 9 divides into 18 twice. So in other words, let's add these red numbers together. 100 plus 50 plus 40 plus 2. Well, that would be 192. Want to take a bet? on what is the answer to 1,728 divided by 9? You've guessed it, 192. And this is actually the process that division goes through when we do long division. Let me show you this using the scaffolding method that you should have learned in your first course in elementary mathematics. If we begin with the number 1,000, 728. 
and we do division with 9, we may ask ourselves, does 9 go into 1? It's not really a 1, it's a 1,000, but we'll ignore that slip of the tongue. Then we may ask ourselves, how many 9's are in 17? And you may say to yourself, there's 1. Okay, so 1 times 9 is 9. But if we put place value back in this, that was actually 100, and 100 times 9 is actually 900, and we subtract. I get a difference of 28, and 9 from 17 does in fact leave me with 8. That's the 828 we saw. So now we have a new problem, 9 divided into 828. Well, we can say and try to go for the biggest guess possible, but to match my problem, I'm going to guess small and say maybe it's only 50 times because I know 5 times 9 or 50 times 9 in this case is 450. And I'm going to do some subtraction and I'm going to get a difference of 378. Notice that's the 378 we had here which leaves me yet a new problem. I now have the problem of 9 divided into 378, and maybe now I say 40 times. 40 times 9 being 360. So when I do this subtraction, I in fact get the 18, which leads me to my last problem, what I would say is 9 divides 18 twice, getting a zero remainder. Normally you would do this in one column coming down. I'm just trying to show you how the different pieces are put together and what we should actually be thinking as teachers and instructors when we're teaching what we commonly call long division is very much tied to this idea of divides and breaking numbers into sums, each of the add-ins which is divisible by a particular number. For this example, we chose 9.